Ah. Welcome back, everybody. To another MSM did, Productions. Did you get instantly eaten? No. I'm actually, I could actually already see the red obelisk. I'm not as close as I was hoping I would be, though. The map yeah. said I would spawn somewhere else. Well, you see, here's the thing. It doesn't have exact spawn points. It yeah, has I know that. general regions. And depending on what's near each region, it can be different. Uh -huh. So uh, we just transferred back over to the island. That's why I've got yeah, nothing. We, yeah, we transferred and... over to the island, yeah. Got to go to the ob. I'm hoping to make it back without dying, unlike Alex. And there's already hostiles here. Yeah, well, He's the busy, whole though. reason, the whole reason I uh, didn't make it back into the obelisk is, as soon as I spawned in, there was already a large predator sitting in front of me. So, I didn't have the chance to go through the spawn in animation. Before I <laughs> you actually you died ready. before the animation, and there's another little thing chasing after something else, completely ignoring me again. I've run past two hostile mobs that have just ignored me. Why is I it look that you a, call them uh, hostile mobs? Well, because normally they attack you for no reason. I do see the giant alligator that probably ate you. Uh, let me guess. It's in between two peninsulas, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to steer clear. I, I kind of saw him, and I just kind of... Does it have a long, narrow snout or a big, thick one? I know a longer, near, and I don't remember. I think it had a long, narrow, though. Oh, that's a Sarko. That wouldn't... It didn't want killed me. I think... Well, no, that does kind of look thick. It's kind of like just doing this backup thing, going in circles, just chasing something. something. Yeah, that's pretty typical of dinos. Oh, really inefficient, in, inefficient stamina, you piece of shit. Insufficient stamina. Yeah, you'll probably be hunted down by something. Why you say that? Oh, it's just the nature of things. Survivors on foot rarely last long when traveling. It's it's very rare that you usually make it back to civilization unless you got a lucky spawn point. I mean, I'm just stating the facts as I understand them. It ain't easy to get back to the base once you've, you know, ah, shit, effectively just... dropped all of your gear. Well, I might, I might pass out and die now. Yeah. <laughs> I ate if you do, no worries. I seem to be in a very safe area. Mm. I'm almost Charlie. Almost... What have I? What have I been teaching you? Um, if it looks safe, it might be safe. No, that's the opposite of what I taught you. If it looks safe, make sure you cook your macaroni on high. I need to make sure we're, we're recording audio. Okay, correctly. no, you're going to tell me the correct damn answer, or I'm going to shoot you as soon as you show up and break all the beds. There's two mice pointers on my screen all of a sudden. Okay, I'm about to start smashing. No, no, I'm actually serious about that. I've got two mice no, players. no, no. I'm about to start smashing until you tell me the correct answer. Um. Be aware of your surroundings, and Charlie, it's fucking over there right in front of you. Well, that's not exactly <laughs> incorrect, but it's not what I wanted. The correct answer is there is no fucking such thing as, as safe. safe. I found the waterfall that we traveled around on our way there. There's a beehive over here. Uh, those are piranhas, and I need to get out of the water, like now. Yeah. I, I Sorry, it looked really clear and really pretty underneath, so I had to go look. I'm actually surprised I don't have to cross the water to get to the obelisk. You do. It's just a very shallow pass. hot apparently I shall make it back um I need to make this timer don't don't you start with the with the shitting already we just started right, so I got my timer started hey look oh shit ah oh, fuck I hope you saw that 
Nope. You didn't see me just fly off the cliff and into the water? Nope. There's surprisingly nothing down here right now. I'd get out of the water while I can. That doesn't I tend did. to last long. I know, I did. I know there's normally megalodons there. The fuck is that thing up there? The fuck is that? Is it gonna eat me? Fuck is what? Oh no, I just see a big tail. Oh, well, now it's gone. Nope, no, it's still there. It's so bright. The sun. Well, Charlie, oh, that what? was Zolt. There are, um... Uh... Did I miss something? Yeah, you missed me killing the beta dragon boss while you were off twiddling your dickhole. Alright, so first I need to import my wyvern, right? Yep, that would be step one. And then arc data, I need to transfer all over to my inventory, right? Uh, I don't know if you can, but yes. The transfer all the button does not work. In, yep, does not work. In I the meantime, I'm go. going to be carrying our small tames over and dropping them in the yard. All right, I'll be there in a second. So is there a limit on how long something could stay inside the obelisk? Like an item? I I have turned that limit off, but on official settings, 24 hours. Okay. And players can still only stay 24, right? I'm not exactly sure. I've just turned some settings off that uh, I found somewhat annoying. The reason that that setting exists is to keep someone from effectively camping in an obelisk forever. Understandable. Also, dear viewers, between last recording session and now, we have installed a new mod into the mod pack. It is called the Domination Rex mod. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that shit. Yeah, we hey, actually Kutra. have one. We actually have one here at the obelisk. All right, uh, small tame. So what does that mean? I need to pick up. If it's a small tame. Oh, there is no small tames remaining. Okay. There goes Skybacks. Aha, uh -huh, now I could finally land up here. Hey. Just park your wyvern in the yard. Hey, that dinosaur's still dead. What? Those dinosaurs are still dead. I know I fed them. It doesn't really matter if you feed something after it's dead. <laughs> oh, there's a yeah. bronchiosaurus over here. Okay, ow. Pain. Hurt. Discomfort. And leg break. What'd you do? Uh, well, I did have one last thing I need to bring with me. Oh, okay. I'm just the grinding over here. Grinding what? Food. Experience. Everything. You realize we have a industrial grill inside the house, right? Uh, it's for the wyverns. Raw meat. Mostly, oh. I'm, I'm mostly getting experience. Is what I'm doing. No, oh, well then here, let me come out and I'll help you. 
He's getting away. Yeah, well. What's getting away? Little tiny pig thing. Oh, you're just kind of eating everything. Here, I'll go kill this Bracky. You'll have plenty of meat. I'll, I'll just go in for experience, mostly. What? Fuck, I'll come help with that, though. Here, eat to your heart's content. Whoa. That one's new. So, are we doing a boss? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've already gathered all the necessary, um... Tribute for the beta uh, gamma, sorry, not beta, gamma brood mother. Oh shit, that was a, that's a male of a female. I am slowed apparently. Yeah, it's because it has a buff against large carnivores. Who, uh, the triceratops? Yep, they do. They have a buff against large carnivores. Oh. Huh. Uh, how does, how do I do the, uh, the wing slap? Is that C? Control, at least for me. It's C. It's for whatever me. your crouch button is. What was roar? Really? really? Yes, really. It didn't that like require the super expensive armor, too? This? Yeah, to get the cloaking ability. No. No. No, this thing requires 50 element to make, along with a few. Uh, trophies and some artifacts that are kind of hard to get a hold of. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, how do Someone I roar them carry... again? What? How do I roar the wyvern again? You don't. Oh, okay. Roar the wy the wyvern doesn't roar. What they did. Now, if you want your wing flap, that's crouch. Yeah, no, I got that one. Yeah, and here's my roar. There are actually four variants of this thing right now. This is the Aberration variant. I've been spending some time playing around in Aberration. Um, I found the Triceratops egg. Well, then pick her up and get ready for a fight when her family comes looking. I think we just killed her family. Nah, eh, there's always more. Well, I'm gonna go put it in the freezer. Darn, that T-Rex is big. Oh, that's not a T-Rex. Oh, there, there's the the new one. The Giga Notosaurus. This ain't new. This ain't new. This is actually almost as old as the Rex. Is it? Oh, the, yeah. yeah. The Giga this Notosaurus? The... Yeah. Oh. Actually, it's not even yours. I just brought it over here for storage reasons. Oh, okay. I, well, I am ready to probably go die. Uh, well, no, you're probably not going to die if we do this right, but we will need to pick up a couple creatures from my base uh, really? elsewhere. In the, yeah, yeah, a couple creatures that we haven't tamed yet. Now, I'm saying really because I thought you was flying my dragon and you're not. No, I'm not. Your dragon is just following me. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Castle in the yeah. sky. <sighs> That's such an old movie. Alright, so we ready to go to your base first? Uh, actually, I need one minute. Okay. Yeah. Why does this white obelisk, this white peak, not come down yet? Uh, because obelisks no, it, take it, a variable it, amount of time. No, it did come down. I'm just. Now, noticing it. Okay. So, I'm probably going to take my ab domination rex in, uh, and I'm going to have a ride for you. We're, we're going to be using the rex army that I got parked over there at the obelisk. 
Um, just for safekeeping, though, I'm going to drop most of my useful stuff here at the base. Just, you know, in case something goes terribly, terribly wrong, I won't be walking into that battle with all eggs in one basket. So, what do I not need to bring? <laughs> uh, well, you could probably bring everything because you don't have anything worth preserving. Ow. I got some well, items. No, you really don't. Everything you have is garbage. I got some kind of bladder, apparently. Bladder? Uh, yeah, a basilosaurus bladder. Blubber! You illiterate piece of crap. Yes, blubber. Yes, basilosaurus blubber. Yes, you got it out of the obelisk over there when you hit transfer all. How did I get it? I never you put it got in it there. because I left it in there. Oh, well, um, I hope it wasn't important. No, it's really not important. I could get a whole bunch of Bacillosaurus blubber, no problem. It's only useful for killing the um, Alpha Dragon. Or Beta Dragon, rather. I'm just loading some stuff not... into the obelisk. Or uh, this chest, rather. That I An air can't conditioner. Yeah, air conditioner. Didn't you notice we had one? Um, not till just now. That is very sad and pathetic, Charlie. Yeah, this battle shouldn't be very hard or take very long for... In truth. Now, here are the few things you're going to need to remember to do. Do I need to even bring my Trank arrows? No, you need to put as put all that away because that's that's not something we're going to be using. Uh, for a start, it's probably going to be a little chilly in there, so maybe consider bringing a set of fur armor just in case. I should be fine, but you know I don't know about you. I'll grab the fur. I currently yeah. have hide on. You have hide. Well, don't worry that. You're not really going to be taking any direct damage yourself. Uh, let me get some food. Do you remember how I said I lost all my metal shit? Can you guess yeah. what's in this chest? All your metal shit? All my shit. Oh, I see you got the Noglin Chibi. Mine's different, though. Here, let me put mine on. Right, so I'm just going to completely empty my inventory, right? Yeah. Look at mine, Charlie, after you're done with that. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I will take out all these arrows because I don't want to lose them. I don't care about the hide. Oh, that's right. I should probably put these on. I don't need all these water skins. That's all I care about. Okay. The fuck? I am Jesus. Now you've just become enlightened. No, I'm actually homo deus. Get up. Get the fuck out the way. Um, yeah. Th these are skins that spawn with me now. Also, I have my little noglin. Okay. Uh, let me see here. What do... Okay. So, yeah, let me grab a cryopod or two, actually I'll need three, out of the base, uh, out of this base, rather. Glad I made us plenty. Maybe you can't just put them in a, in, a, in a normal freezer. Well, a normal freezer doesn't recharge their cryo cells. Oh, no. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going to want to get on your um, your wyvern. Now, the wyverns are not coming into the arena with us. They're just transport. Yeah, I kind of figured that after you said something about riders earlier. So. Yeah. All right, you ready? Uh, nope. Got to pick the domination rex up because he's coming with us into the arena as insurance. He will make sure we do not lose. 
I like how easy it is to just see you all the time now. Yes, it is, because I'm wearing a glowing skin. Does it actually put off light? Uh, a small amount of emission, yes. However, I can't transfer these into other inventories. I can't remove them from the costume I'm wearing. They're really uh, just a perk of beating the final boss of Extinction. Oh. I thought it was something you got just for playing on a certain day or something. No, no. No, you're thinking of the birthday suit skin. Yeah, the two creatures that we're picking up from uh, my other base is uh, one of my personal favorite uh, carnivores named Fleshrend and um, a Deodon. Fleshrend just so happens to be a um, very powerful creature called a um, razor tooth. So why is it going to be chilly in the arena? Well, we'll technically be underground. Oh. Uh, did I just pass you? No. You're oh, still behind me. You're just underneath me is all. Probably shouldn't have used my breath attack at any point. <laughs> no, you really shouldn't because you'll run out of stamina faster that way and there's no reason. Oh no, and that's what I did. And coming up on my base. Flag. Gosh darn. This is, I think, bigger than what it was last time I saw it, too. Yeah. No, definitely. it hasn't changed in quite some time, actually. Since I last saw it, I think. It's definitely a there lot more crap here. I don't remember it engulfing the water at all. Uh, maybe you weren't just paying attention. Ah, Charlie, yes, come and land here in the courtyard. <clears throat> Perfect. Yeah, you see this right here? Yes. This is a taxidermy base of what we'll be fighting. Okay, great. Uh -oh. I wish it was daytime so I could see. Why are you saying, uh-oh? Oh, by the way, uh, how about you do our goddamn viewers a favor and gamma the fuck up? Fuck you. Uh, hold on. Yeah, so they'll gamma, actually gamma, 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 be gamma. able to see something. Gamma, 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 gamma. Yeah, let me pick up Fleshrend and... Uh, 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 where is it? I don't see Gamma. Gamma correction. Uh, let me see here. I'll guide you to it. Go to options. Okay. Let's see here. Uh... Hmm. Actually, I'd go to advanced settings. I went there. There's not a single slider in there. Uh, keyboard bindings. Ah, yes, yes. Um, let's see here. So it set gamma value one when permitted on a sign. Okay. Basically, it's under advanced key bindings, and you can increase the value using a key. It used to okay. be much easier to set gamma. I'm glad I set it before all that shit happened, though. <laughs> now let me locate... Uh, ah, shit. Fleshrend out here. Let's see. You tire... Ah, there's Fleshrend. Matter of fact, I'll probably just ride Fleshrend to the obelisk. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just left it on the default value, by the way. Okay. Well. Which definitely lit a bunch of things up. I, I did uh, set gamma 2. Okay. Which is a higher value. Yeah, it, it doesn't make everything super bright like daytime, does it? Uh, no, actually, it kind of just lit the shit up some. It made the yeah. moon work a little better. 
Oh yeah, makes the moon look very nice. Okay. Well, you. Well, this is flesh rend. Charlie, where are you? Uh, um. Um. Not in the are water. You? Charlie, get out of the water. You'll freeze to death out there with your low fortitude. Charlie. Yes. I'm are you not to, listening? I'm You're trying, trying to, to fight his family. Holy shit, these things are quick. Charlie, get the fuck off my dolphin. This ain't a dolphin. Well, then what is it? It's a seahorse. Well, then get the fuck off my hippocampus and get your ass over here. Time's wasting. But I had to ride him. He was so... No, uh, you don't. You need to get your ass on that I, red I, wyvern and get your ass to the obelisk so we can go fight a giant murder spider to try and help you advance an arc. So I, come on, get on, and go to the green obelisk. Green. This way? Yep, that obelisk. I'll meet you there on foot. Positive there's no way in hell we could lose this fight, so don't see a reason why not to go on foot. Because I mean, it's we're... me, and we both know I'm going to somehow die. No, even this would be very difficult for you to fuck up. Hey, look, I think that's the blue spot right there where we got our T-Rex, maybe? Or close to it? No. No. It's weird our, to actually be able to see the ground. We we tamed our T-Rex. Um, we tamed it's our T-Rex. Nice, so I have no idea where it was. On the other side of the island from here. It is so weird to actually be able to see the ground. All the way up north. Yeah, it's weird to be able to see the ground, but then again, that's what reality is actually like. You can see the ground at night. All right, so I don't land on the plateau. Uh, you can, but it's not gonna matter. We're gonna move uh, where it is anyway. Well, yeah, that... it's going to take a little bit of careful maneuvering, and for the love of fuck, do not whistle follow all. No. Uh, well, I don't have whistle follow all, Rich. Anything I have follow target, and then I have all stop. Actually, where you're parked right now is good. Well... I didn't want to be near it because I thought if y'all was on the plateau, no matter, I thought it always transported everything on the plateau. No. No. Okay. Well, it, it's a much more limited dome. Do I need to move over for you? Nope. Okay. That's not at all what I thought you was bringing. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Just park it right, park it right there. I'm gonna need your help adjusting these a little bit. Okay. So, this is the personal Rex army. You've never used these Rexes before, nope. mainly because they're good. And they have a turning radius of nothing. No, they actually have a very wide turning radius. Well, I mean, like, they, okay. have, a, they have a turning radius of fucking infinity. Okay, come here. Come here. Yep. Uh, don't, okay. don't, well, once you're you ready to start it, don't start piece? it until I say. You see this metal piece right here? Yep. See how it goes around? Uh-huh. Their feet just have to be on the inside, right? Yeah, their feet has to be on the inside of that metal piece. Um, there's a now this here. Now this one's near the... Pick it up if you want, it doesn't matter. What'd you say? This one's near what? Now this one's right near the edge. I don't know if he's going to make it or not, but it shouldn't make a difference. Now, Charlie, come over here and I'm going to put down flesh rend for you. I want you to get on it. Ah, I'm stuck on tails. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to familiar... Stop moving. Okay. I want you to back up just a step. Okay? And point yourself towards that horde of Rexes. Okay. Okay. Now, I want you to hit your control key. It's not control. That is the entire p reason why we're bringing him along. What that has just done is created a buff that will lessen the damage that all those Rexes take and boost the damage that they will do. All right. That is the whole reason why you will be riding on Flesh Rift. Keep him away from the big spider and out of damage as much as you can and focus on buffing. All right, I can do that. Um, 
before we start it. So let's get to right before we start it, and then I'm going to start a new episode. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, you do that. I'll be taking all the meat out of your dragon. Uh, that's fine. I'm assuming you're going to need that for... Um... The Deodon. Huh? Yeah, the Deodon is going to need that. Okay. The Deodon is the other reason... Uh, the other creature that we had to stop and pick up. You've never seen it before, so go ahead and get down and I'll show you how it works. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna leave him in the circle. For now. Uh, yeah, he should be alright. Okay, where are you? Where I'm are right you? here, behind, here. You, behind you. Come here. Uh, I'm okay. right here. Are we recording still, by the way? Yeah. Oh, well, you may want to end the recording. Yeah, I was gonna wait till right before we went in. So that the episode starts with us fighting. Or going in to fight. Just, just go, just go ahead. And stop. Okay, hold on. We're very close. We'll see you next time. Bye. Okay.